peace family so i'm back with another informative video i'm so happy to bring this to you because this is something that applies to me as well as to many of you guys i'm in a cargo van i'm in an oversized vehicle i deliver for walmart spark and quite a few other apps but today we're going to talk about walmart spark we're going to talk about a new program that i believe will be launching in the near future i can't say when but the reason why i'm even making this video is because i got an email about doing a survey and I'm always big on doing my surveys. So when I got the email, I read the email and the email said something about me uh, delivering in a cargo van. Sorry about that. I was checking the, the board. I'm still actively doing deliveries as we speak. But anyway, it asked me something about doing deliveries in a van because in the Walmart app, something I noticed is you can't select that you're in a van. You can only select that you're in the SUV. So when you go to your vehicle details and you add your vehicle, right now I have it added as a large SUV, but you can't add it as anything else because the only options that we have are a sedan coupe, compact SUV, pickup truck, hatchback, station wagon, and minivan multi-purpose. But you don't have the option for a cargo van. And I thought that was kind of odd, but whatever. So I just picked the largest vehicle that they have and um which is the large suv and that's what i've been working with walmart sent me an email and in the email it said how would you like to make deliveries in a van that is rented and it was like what are your main concerns about doing this and it said is insurance a concern is the cost of the rental a concern and it went into all these different things in the box where i could put a comment i let them know i'm currently in a van and i'm currently already spending a thousand dollars plus Per month on gas and all that other different stuff so i know what it is so if you have worked for me for my van i definitely am ready to accept it as long as the price is right you know i let them know about the criteria for me and how i feel and there's just a few things that are my concern obviously we're talking about distance distance is going to be important because if you got something that pays well but the distance is far then it doesn't necessarily pay well because after you get done doing the delivery you have to come back so you have to look at it as a round trip so if you have something that's 10 miles you have to look at it as 20 because if you plan on coming back to where you work from then it's 20 miles so with that being the case distance is important definitely the price definitely so i want to be at 35 dollars per hour or better for my blocks because this is about a block schedule this is about uh, pre-arranged deliveries a route that you would select and you would know about prior to that working day so this would be if you're working on friday you would know on thursday what you're doing for friday because it will it would be pre-arranged and you just got to go do it so obviously we're talking about price and we're talking about distance very very important extremely important because that's what i use and look at now to choose any of the deliveries that i do if i see a delivery come up and it's going eight miles if the price is not significant, I don't take it because eight miles is not even the same area, neighborhood, or town. I'm in a different town. So I gotta come back to where I'm at because I like to work from the same location. I'm in a neutral point where I can go within five Walmarts from where I am now parked. If something comes up within five Walmarts, the highway is right there. And if I get on that highway, I can get to almost every one of those Walmarts. The other two, I can drive straight to them drive down the road and get to them so with that being the case we know that distance is a great factor and and price is the main factor and then you have weather what's the weather like if the weather is bad then i want more period i want more i've worked for different apps and when the weather is bad i call them i need more money period who else is going to do it i'm out here pay me i'm gonna do the work you know so we know that the weather is another great factor and then this is another one that's crazy location i don't service everybody i do not service everybody some areas i'm not going there unless the money is significant because i don't service them some areas people don't tip you so i don't service them i don't service the areas where people don't tip because i'm not making any money if the base rate is not significant sometimes it is if it is then i take it that's fine but in other cases that's when you see two deliveries and it's only paying twelve dollars i'm not about to take two people their groceries for twelve dollars 
even if they live on the same block as the store. I'm not doing it. It's just not something I'm going to do. So when I look at the board, I look at it as if certain orders are for me and certain orders aren't. So when I look at it, I, I say, oh, no, they're not talking to me when I see certain numbers. And that's something that I'll stand on because my metrics speak to that. Right now, I only accept 10% of all offers. Yes, only 10%. So that means 90% of offers are not within my criteria. This new program that's going to be launching, hopefully sometime really soon, is just going to be routes. It's going to be oversized routes, prearranged, and set up for specific drivers who want to do that. And it's going to be two ways to do it. One way would be within your own vehicle, such as myself in this vehicle, like I'm already doing, or through a rental. I don't know the whole idea on a rental because this concept was brought to me by, like I said, a survey that I took. And um, all of that stuff is probably being arranged based on, you know, the amount of people that take the survey or a, a different number of factors. I don't know. But at this time, Walmart is looking to do something bigger than what they are doing. And they're going to have the big routes and it's going to be a block of four hours. Another reason why I like that, if I can make most of my money in four hours, that's great. Because I'm already an eight to 12 hour worker. I'm already an eight to 12 hour worker. Average day, I'm doing eight to 10 hours. On a good day, I'm gonna do 12. When it's out here and the fruit is good, I'm out here. I don't clock out. I don't get off until the app stop. So that's just how I am. I'm a hard worker. I wanna make as much as I can make. I want things to be simple if they can be simple. So if you could give me four hours of time, and then you can give me my number, $35 or more. That's looking good for me. I'll jump on there and hit that route and possibly hit another one if you got another one for me. And as long as the distance is not too crazy, you know, um, I'm willing to go upward of 100 miles in a four-hour block. I'll go 100 miles in a four-hour block. That's cool. Um, the pay going to have to be there, though. The pay is going to have to be there. If I go 100 miles on a four-hour block, I'm going to need like 250, 300, you know. So we'll see. Um, with that being the case, y'all, I'm going to get back to y'all with more information for more informative content and for content like this. Definitely like, subscribe, share, and all that other good stuff. I'm going to thank y'all in advance for that. I got more content coming soon. Check out your surveys and your email and do this survey and let them know how you feel about it if they sent it to you. That's all I got for this video. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.